Do you want to pass or even top the licensure examination for teachers? Then you're blessed. My channel is for you. I am Sir Leo at your service. Okay, good day once again, everyone. Today, this is the continuation of our lessons in addition and subtraction of fraction. Today, you will learn about multiplication and division of fractions. So, before anything else, no, uh, I don't have video no, at the moment kasi uh, sira po ang camera ng laptop. Kaya, my last video, tingnan nyo ang mukha doon, parang hindi na lang ako mag-tell. Kaya, para ma-miss nyo din ako, no, mga subscribers ko, thank you, no? So, walang face mo na ngayon. So, follow my explanation. Into the unknown. O, di ba? Hindi akong kumanta nun, ha? Yung kaibigan ko. Okay. So, the essential skill that you should have with you right now in your heart and in your mind, of course, ang multiplication skills. Dapat na-memorize yun na at na-understand ang multiplication table. Like what I said, nung grade 5 ako, memorize ko na yan. Nung grade 5 kasi, uh, yung teacher ko sa math, hindi ka makakalabas kung hindi mo ma-recite lahat yung multiplication table. 5 times 1 equals 5. 5 times 2 equals 10. 5 times 3. Ganyan. So, dapat kung hindi mo pa memorize at hindi mo pa understand yan, please do memorize first. Please do understand first. Okay, then after that, i-open mo naman itong video at mag-learn ka na ng multiplication and division of fractions, okay? Then of course, do not forget to tell yourself, I love to learn math, I love to learn math, I love to learn math, okay? At the moment, I'm closing my eyes, so you close your eyes also while saying this para ma-internalize. Kung artista kayo, no, na-internalize nyo na yan, okay? So, let us have first multiplication. Okay. Actually, no, ang lesson sa subtraction and addition of fractions, mas mahirap sila kaysa sa multiplication and division. Kasi, sa topic ng multiplication, I mean sa addition and subtraction, kukuha ka pa ng LCD or LCM, tapos i-process mo pa. Sa multiplication, basic lang po. Ito lang po ang tandaan nyo. Multiply the numerators sa numerators. Numerator to the numerator, tapos denominator to the denominator. Ganyan lang po. So, example. No. So, we have here... Okay. So, for example, we have here... So, no. One half times three-fifth. Okay. So, ano nga ang rule? Ang rule lang po ay i-multiply si numerator sa numerator, 1 times 3, 3. Tapos, denominator kay denominator, 2 times 5, 10. And that's the answer. Ganyan lang po, ka-basic. So, if master nyo na ang multiplication table, na-memorize nyo na ito, wow, perfect na kayo sa examination na iti-take nyo. Ganyan lang po. Example number 2. Uh, 2, 7, 2 over 7, times 3 fifth. Diba? So again, 2 times 3, 6. 7 times 5, 35. At ganyan lang po ka-basic. Ganyan. So last example. Pwede ganito pagkasulat. 1 half times 1 third times 7 over 9. Pwede ganito. So kung kayo bahala, kung Ito muna na mga fractions i-multiply nyo, pwede. Tapos ang result i-multiply nyo sa ika-third fraction. Pero, pwedeng diretsyo na. Kasi multiplication, 1 times 1. 1 times 7. 7. Over 2 times 3. 6 times 9. 54. And that's it. Diba? 7 times 9. Oh no, 6 times 9. Diba? 54. So, that's it. Okay. So, sa division, let's go sa division. 
Ang division naman, get the reciprocal of the divisor, ang ikadalawang fraction, ipangalawang fraction, tapos proceed ka sa process sa multiplication. Example, basic din ang division, guys. Example, 1 half divided by 3 fifths. So, ano nga daw ang process? Copy mo si 1 half. Proceed to multiplication, tapos ang reciprocal na ng pangalawang fraction. So, ang reciprocal ng 3 fifths, 5 over 3. Reciprocal ng 1 half, ibaliktad lang guys, si denominator maging numerator na. Ganyan. Si 3 over 2, so ano ng reciprocal niya? 2 over 3. Ganyan. Si 100, so, di ba, may automatic 1 yan? 100 divided by 1 is 100. So, ang reciprocal niyan is 1 over 100. Ganyan. So, proceed to multiplication. 1 times 5? 5. 2 times 3? 6. Ay, ka-basic. Yes. Basic talaga siya, guys. Basic. Pero, ito din, ang mas basic, no? Para parang shortcut na na ma eye to eye mo lang no eye to eye mata sa mata mo lang oh so pwedeng ganito si copy lang muna natin no 1 half divided by 3 fifth so pwedeng hindi mo na ganito hin no so ang process pwede mo nang iganyan lahat kasi iganyan i cross multiply 1 times 5 so sa baba of 5 3 times 2 6 and that's it ganyan lang Para hindi ka na mag-find ng reciprocal pa, no, na another step, baka additional time mo na yan. So, ganyan lang. Imata-mata mo lang, no? Mata sa mata. ba So, example number 3. Uh, uh, 2 fifth divided by uh, 5 over 7. So, ano nga yun? Ito muna. 2 times 7 times na po ang, ang, ang operation natin, 14. Tapos, 5 times 5, 25. Ganyan lang. Para sa exam nyo, kung ganito na question, ay, 5 seconds lang, ay, 10 seconds, tapos na. Ganyan lang po ka-basic. Okay? And like what I said, hindi po, swerte na po tayo, no, kung bigyan tayo ng ganito agad sa examination natin sa CSC or sa LET, so, baka ma-perfect lahat na mag-take, makapasa lahat. Congratulations sa lahat, no? Kung ganyan, Mostly, it's in word problem. So, mga word problems po. Pero, ang skill at saka uh, knowledge, dapat nandito ang division at saka multiplication. So, example. Here. Joy had 120 teddy bears in his... Oh, si Joy. So, in dapat her to. ba? English lesson na din yan. Kasi si Joy a girl. So, dapat her. Okay? So, English. Additional yan sa English, di ba? So, si Joy is a girl. So, her dapat. Okay. Joy had 120 teddy bears in her toy store. He. Oh, so since si Joy ay babae, she. So, dapat she. Additional lesson yan. She sold two-thirds of them at 20 pesos each. How much did? Oh, she na naman to. Sige. So, ang final question na, I'll reread the final question, no? Kasi babae si Joy, pinang-change ko lang ang mga pronouns. No? Joy had 120 teddy bears in her toy store. She sold two-thirds of them at 20 pesos each. How much did she receive? Hala, no? Again? Anong ang needed? Comprehension. So, kung bisaya kayo, kung Tagalog kayo, so, ibisaya nyo. Si Joy daw, May 120 ka teddy bears sa toy store niya. Nakabaligya siya, nakabenta siya ng two-third. Two-third kuno sa 120. Paano i-find ang two-third ng 120? Tapos may isa pang question, no? At 20 pesos each. How much? Hala, ang question ay magkano daw ang kanyang nadawat, na-receive, di ba? So, two-third of 120. Ah, if ganyan guys, if you're asked to find what is the two-third of 120, multiplication yan guys. Remember, what is the two-third of 120? So, na-sold down ni Joy ay two-third of 120. So, 
multiplication. Ano nga dito? 1. Di ba? Kung whole number, so 10, it's just 10 over 1. Di ba? Remember. So, 2 times 1, 20. 2, 40. 3 times 1, 3. 3 divided by 2, 40. O, sige. Yung lesson natin na ganyan. So, ano nga? 8. 8 times 3, 24. Minus, tapos 0 na. Okay, 80. So, 80. Okay. Baka pag, pag watch nyo sa choices, ay, bakit walang 80? Ano ba tong question? Ah, letter E ako. Uy, para none of the above. No. Look at the question. How much did she receive? She na ha? Did she receive? Diba? We're not asked, we, we were not asked to find how many teddy bears were sold. How much? So, needed pa rin ang information kung ilang teddy bears. So, since tag 20 daw each, i-multiply natin by 20. So, ang na-receive niya, 1,600 pesos. Or pesos. Diba? Ah, needed pala talaga ang reading comprehension. Yes! Needed na needed. And I'm sure after that, you surely pass any examination. Okay? It's question number two. A relay covers one and one half kilometers. Each runner on a team will run one four of a kilometer. How many runners are needed for a team? Hala! Parang hindi ko ma-picture out ang mga English dito. Uy, naglibog na ako. Uy, so ano to? So, ganyan. So, ibisaya nyo, itagalog nyo, ihiligay nun nyo. So, ang relay daw, so, imaginein ko doon sa court, sa oval, 1 and 1 half kilometers, so 1.5 kilometers, no, 1 and 1 half. Tapos, lahat daw, i-cover ng tatakbuhin. Tapos, ang each runner, Dapat ta tatakbo ng one-fourth of a kilometer. Ilang runners daw ang needed. Hala, so kung one and one-half lahat, one and one-half kilometers, or i-improper fraction natin ito, kaya para mas easy na lang, may lesson din ako, no? So abangan ang mga lesson paano pag-change ng mixed number to improper fraction or to fractions. Okay? So, three-halves kilometers, no? Tapos, ang each runner daw on a team will run 1-4 kilometers. I-multiply ko kaya? Ha? Ah, tataas na, no? Ha? Ah, oo nga, no? I-minus ko kaya? Bakit minus? Hindi naman kukuha na, no? I-subtract ko kaya? Or i-add? Ano kaya ang dapat? So, ibisayaan nyo naman ulit. Comprehend nyo naman ulit. Ganyan lang po. Pero since it will take time at my time ang board examinations, so, dapat mag-practice kayo. Mag-practice kayo, read and comprehend. Read and comprehend. So, kung ganito, one, three halves kilometers ang iran, tapos each runner on the team will run one over four kilometers. Ah! So, parang division yan. Ang lahat, ang lahat ng tatakbuhin na kilometro, three halves, i-divide siya sa each runner na tatakbuhin. Kasi ang tinatanong natin, how many runners? So, ah, ganyan. O nga, no? So, ano nga ang way na pinakamabilis? Ganyan. 12. Then, ganyan. 2. Ah, 6. Therefore, sir, ma'am, 6 runners ang needed. Correct. Correct. Tapos, ganito din. Isang parang uh, reminders din. So, kung... Uh, hindi nyo talaga mag-gets ang question dahil sa mga numbers naman ganito sa fraction. So, mag kayo ng mga numbers na whole para hindi kayo ma... ma... ano to ha? Ma overthink dahil mga fractions na. So, a relay covers 100 kilometers. For example, each runner on a team will run 10 kilometers. So, how many runners? Ay, easy na. Diba? 100 kuno ka kilometers tapos each runner will run 10 kilometers. So, may 10 ka runners na needed. Ah, okay, dapat ganyan, guys. Kung na-distract kayo dahil sa mga fraction, pero, I know, alam nyo talaga paano pag-solve, pero dahil fraction nga, so, i-think nyo na whole number. So, change yun muna. So, a relay covers 100 kilometers, tapos, ang each runner will run 10 kilometers. Ilang runners? Ay, oo nga pala, no? Division lang pala. Ganyan, ganyan. So, dapat, since may time nga ang examination, 
dapat i-practice nyo na ang self nyo ngayon sa pag-solve-solve at pag-comprehend. Ganyan lang talagang style. Comprehension. Okay? So, sa bahay nyo, answer these two questions and please comment your answers po sa comment section at I will reply you if correct. How many halves are there in six fourths? An airplane covers 50 miles in one-fifth of an hour. How many miles can an airplane, can the airplane cover in five hours? Diba? Hala, parang may mix dito, multiplication, division. Ah, oh, and uno kaya? So, it's up to you. Okay? So, for the next lessons nga, proper, improper fraction to mixed number, mixed number to proper, improper fraction. So, stay alive, awake, alert, enthusiastic. Of course, in studying, you should be like that. Okay, if you're new, congratulations first pala. Congratulations for passing the licensure examination for teachers and the CSA examinations. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for updates. Thank you and see you next week, next contents with my face. Bye-bye!